everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your news shot. BGR.com uh, has a piece, Scientists Remotely Hacked a Brain Controlling Body Movements. Now, uh, they've done this in the past. I mean, even as far back as the turn of the 20th century, they were experimenting on how we can control areas of the brain, how we can read what's going on, how we can tell if an area of the brain is damaged. This has been an ongoing thing now for a long time. But there's been a serious push to hack the brain, figure out how it communicates so that we can have, say, computer brain interfaces, um, perhaps wireless internet directly to your brain. You know, we look at 5G and how 5G is going to be rolled out. Folks, that's what 5G is going to usher in. The Internet of Things is going to be where human beings and machines have a symbiosis where they become linked, almost inseparably linked. Look at now what smartphones has done to humanity with regards to our behavioral patterns and our social patterns. It has completely transformed humanity where they have um, availability, okay? Obviously, um, out in the savanna in Africa, you're not really going to have a problem with smartphones. But here in the United States, where technology has really become or is embraced, uh, this has totally and completely transformed the way we do things. You know, even down to some of the simplest tasks, they have simplified things and made things ultra convenient. You know, uh, for example, I have an issue with memory. Uh, f- uh, years ago, I was forced to take the anthrax vaccine prior to deploying for the uh, U- U.S. military. And when I did, I can tell you that I felt something change after that series of shots. And I didn't know what it was at first because it didn't affect me right away. But over time, I could tell that was a a turning point in my life or one of those time markers or time stamps on the timeline of my life because that's when my short-term memory really started to fade away. And I was 24 years old when that happened. Since then, um, or before the, before the smartphone, I would literally forget things on the shopping list. It's so bad that it would be written down and I would forget it. You know, I had to actually come up with a system of actually crossing it out, double and triple checking that I had gotten everything from the store prior to doing that. Well, now with my smartphone, if I forget, let's just say something at the store, why it's not that big a deal. I don't necessarily have to turn around because I can use my smartphone and I can order it and I can even have it shipped to my house oftentimes at no cost. It's become that simple. Here soon, Walmart just asked for and was approved for a patent for blimp style warehouses so that they can fly these blimp warehouses 80 to 100 feet in the air above a metro area and then have their drone delivery fleet deliver things out of this floating warehouse and then the floating warehouse would go back. I mean, this is where we're at. I'm telling you folks, it's unbelievable. So scientists here are remotely hacking brains to control body movements. Now, what does that mean? This is great for people that are dealing with paralysis a la paraplegics because It offers promise in being able to perhaps reconnect um, or rewire your the signals going from your brain down to your your body and your muscles, you know, to to reestablish connections and get people walking again. Uh, There are many ailments that this could be extremely beneficial for. The problem is we pay for it on the backside. Most of us, you and me. We're not bad people. You know, we don't typically like to hurt other people for our own benefit. However, there are people out there that will do so that don't see us as human beings, but just numbers on a spreadsheet. And because they see us as numbers on a spreadsheet, it it does nothing for them to be able to 
use this technology for nefarious purposes to increase bottom lines, to increase your profits, you know, to sate shareholders and other stakeholders. So when I see this advancing so rapidly, I am excited on one hand at the promise a lot of this gives to people who are suffering. But at the, at the same time, I'm wary at the level of suffering that it can cause when this technology gets into the wrong hands. I'm Joe Joseph. This is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.